Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitali, and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I want to share with you my lemon curd recipe. I've had a lot of people ask for this recipe over the years, and um, I'm not sure why I haven't done it sooner, but it's definitely a great basic that I think everyone should know how to make. You can use lemon curd in tons of different things. You can eat it on its own with maybe toast or pound cake. You can put it in dessert, which I'm going to show you how to put it into a delicious trifle coming up on Laura in the Kitchen in a while, um, in a little bit, uh, in a different episode. But today we're going to make some good lemon curd and this recipe is foolproof, it's easy, and I really think you're going to enjoy it. Let me take you over the ingredients so we can get started. You'll need some granulated sugar. I have some egg yolks and whole eggs in here, some unsalted butter that's been softened at room temperature, some lemons, and a pinch of salt. That is it. It's super easy and simple. The one thing I'm going to suggest, you know, if you're going to be using the zest of a citrus, make sure you buy organic because that way um, I feel like the flavor will just be much, much better and you won't have a lot of stuff on on the outside of your lemons. And if you are using bigger lemons, you would need three, but since these are a little bit smaller, I'm using four. Okay. Let's get started, it's really easy. In this bowl, I am going to cream together my sugar and my butter, much like we would be making, uh, like, you know, like we would make cookie dough or standard regular batter. Just gonna start it with my whisk, with my spatula, and then just switch to my whisk when we add in the eggs. I'm gonna actually add my salt now as well. Looks good enough. I'm just gonna add in my eggs and egg yolks. I kind of mix the two together just to make things a little easier on myself. And now I'm going to switch to my whisk, get it all off there, and then just whisk it all until it's nicely combined. That is looking beautiful. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I am going to zest all four lemons. This is lemon curd after all, so you want that really strong lemon flavor. And again, if you were using bigger lemons, you might you use three, but since I'm using smaller ones, I am using four lemons today. Okie doke, and you want to make sure to get just the yellow part of the lemon. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just squeeze all of them. I'm going to squeeze them in this little bowl over a sieve, just to catch um, any of the little pips that are in there. Seeds, pips, whatever you want to call them. And I just give them a gentle roll with the palm of my hands just to release all the juice. And then I just take my fork and I squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. We got our juice. Now let me just take this. Now this is the part where <laughs> I can already picture all of you probably getting all frantic and it's splitting. I don't know what to do. And if it splits, it's supposed to. That's what it does. You just added lemon to this, lemon juice. So now what we're going to do, and it's going to look even worse once you start to cook it. I'm going to pour this mixture, oops, let me just grab my spatula, into my saucepan. And I'm going to cook this on low heat for about 10 minutes. A lot of recipes will tell you to get a thermometer and check it for this temperature or not temperature. The truth of the matter is this is done when it has thickened. That's it. It'll take about 10 minutes. It'll start to look worse before it looks better. It'll split and it'll go all cottage cheese looking on you. But as it cooks, it gets better and better and better. So you're gonna have to trust me on that. So I'm just gonna cook this on low heat until it's nice and thick and it coats the back of my spoon. That's it. That looks gorgeous. I've had this on low heat. Mine didn't even split. It just held its texture beautifully, but sometimes it splits and sometimes it doesn't. But if it does, do not panic. Just keep stirring and stirring and stirring and it'll end up like this, I promise. This is when you'll know you're, it's done. The back of it just coats the spoon really well and when you run your finger down, you can see how it stays separate. That's how you know your curd is done. I've just taken this off the heat. Your lemon curd at this point is completely done. All I have to do is cool in the fridge and it will heart, you know, it will set and um, it'll get a bit more, it will, it will set a bit more so it won't be this runny. But look at that, I mean look, I just wanted you to see the color. Look how beautiful that is and that's a combination of using eggs and egg yolks that give us a really beautiful color. I'm just gonna just taste really just, just really quick, just, just really, really quickly. That this recipe is foolproof for a reason. It tastes incredible. 
It's not too sweet. You can taste the fresh lemon. Texture is fantastic. As it cools, it does set a bit more, so it's gonna be perfect. You could spread it on things and whatnot. It's just a really wonderful all-purpose recipe that I think everyone should have in the recipe box because it's a great one to have on hand. And I'm gonna show you how to use this in a beautiful trifle here really, really soon. But for now, I'm gonna let you go. I'm just gonna pop this into the fridge until whenever I need to use it. Make sure that you, when you wrap it with plastic wrap, that the plastic is actually touching the surface of the lemon curd so it doesn't form a skin. But that's really about it. Let me know what some of your favorite ways are to use lemon curd because I would love to apply those to future recipes here on Laura in the Kitchen. And I love getting inspired by all of you. So leave them in the comment section down below. Let me know what other basic recipe you want to see next and I will see you next time. And of course, this will be on LaurainTheKitchen.com as always. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.